Do you know that new piece with yeah, my Wi Fi? Yeah, I know. How did you guys play the game last time? to work with. A cyborg is complex. A cyborg is a living organism complete with its own artificial intelligence, <coughs> which some might argue exists that of even humans. Thank you, Laura. That is exactly right. You may be saying. Just like I said. I said it. You know? Yeah. 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 Now, before the implant rights and the you were never a fellow and this is just swept over the earth. We dealt with that by recording some of the ideas that were up until that point, dedicated purely to satisfaction. That's my friend Daniel, or Danny. I know he's a bit of a joker, but he means well. I've known him since the third grade. I mean, he's changed a bit since he started noticing girls, but trust me, if you knew him, you'd know. He's got your back. I always thought he'd make a good actor or comedian. He's one of those guys who can make you laugh for hours and hours. You know when you start laughing and you can't anymore because your stomach starts hurting? That's what it's like with Danny. But no, he has to be a quantum engineer. That's where the money is. What a shame if you ask me. Our teacher is Mrs. Carmichael. Oh wait, I mean Dr. Carmichael. Which is pretty cool, we don't usually get too much homework. I heard that once upon a time, she used to work for the government working on artificial intelligence. She even won some awards for her ideas back in the day. I think it's pretty neat that she works here teaching us when she could be making a rocket load somewhere else, you know? Her? Yeah, she's pretty, isn't she? I saw you looking at her. Absolute beauty queen. Well, looks aren't everything, let me tell you. Her name's Fennel. She will bite your head off in a minute if you get in her way. Same with the others in her posse. Stay clear of them. To be honest, I've never had any problems with them, probably because I don't speak much, in class anyway. Once you get to know me, it's a very different story. Nice to meet you. I'm Trevor. Some of my friends call me Trev, but you can call me Trevor. Actually, I prefer it. Trev's something you call a six-year-old child. Come here, Trev. Let's pat your head, Trev. What a cute boy you are, Trev. When you're 16, it all feels a bit silly. No one would be taken seriously as an artist named Trev or Trevor for that matter. Name one successful singer named Trevor. You can't, can you? That doesn't bother Uncle Ralph though. I live with him and Aunt Bernice. Neither of them want that sort of life for me. I think it reminds them too much of my parents. They say it's my choice, but they won't support it. Business or law, those are my real choices. Music isn't even an option. Just forget about it. I mean, forget about the fact I've been playing music since before I could walk. Forget that it's in my blood. Forget about that song I wrote that has almost 60,000 views on the space feed. 
or when I played that song, I almost made Fennel cry. Fennel, of all people. That's great, Trev. How are your grades? Forget grades. We're talking about changing the world here. Whoa, Trev. It'd have to be pretty remarkable if we're going to make a career out of it. You have to sell it to one of those big type music producers. Could you imagine that? Our little Trev wants to change the world. How quaint. I find myself.
Yes, Miss uh, uh, Dr. Carmichael. Could you answer the question? Um, Excuse me, Mrs. Doctor. Asimov's third law of robotics states that a robot must protect its own existence so long as it doesn't interfere with the first or second laws. It cannot harm another robot or allow another human to come to harm either through action or inaction. Very good. Thank you for paying attention. You better wake up. I know you think they is a war. Better wake up. Unless you wanna stay poor, you better wake up. I see you lying on the floor. Better wake up. Amount to something more, you better wake up. No, you see it as a more. People don't want to buy creativity Shake your head, why are you talking? It's you that can't foresee ingenuity It doesn't matter what you like It doesn't matter how you play it Just so long as it sounds It doesn't matter, it does not let us do this day where you in this selfish, mindless society. Nice way. 
Robin just came in there five seconds and figured out she's competition. Don't forget your homework! Write 100 words on uh, benefits of cyber and their right, use on the eye. I don't know why they're all so cruel, and yet she doesn't even look bothered. She really is quite something. Maybe I should have said something back there, but what could I say? She comes to a new school and the first thing they do is make fun of the way she dresses? I think she's got a great style. I should go and say hello, introduce myself, tell her I know how it feels to be alone, that she doesn't need to be alone. On the other hand, maybe she'll think I'm strange and be too shy to talk with me. On the other hand, I really have nothing to lose. When you look into my eyes, you can see a world worth living. And you know it's just for me. Yes, you know that it's to be. When a smile comes to my face, you can There's a point in your life to settle down Whenever there's a time that you can let me come around I'll be here tomorrow if you want me here I'll be here tomorrow yes, if you want me near I'll be here tomorrow when you want me here I'll be here tomorrow a pretty smile like to get to know you if you stay for a while and, and if you can't, can't that's all right honestly i feel like i'm from another planet considering the greedy ages we see close welcome to space ages off to god must be so exciting all the world is on its way calling to every word listen what you say you better Watch your tongue Whoa.
Tell me about your family on Jupiter and Mars, say, how's your flight? Hey, they're coming over. Well, now, where's that pretty face? It looks like you're thinking about leaving this old place. And if two can... I hope you don't listen to those guys back there. They can be real... Jerks? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm kinda used to it, believe me. I hope you don't think we're all this way. They hate me. They don't know you. Maybe. So now we're in a story about a pair from out of time. Pages unturned, the words could not align But that's just fine She said, I'll see you later And two words without meaning Go on, have a nice life, I'll be here in memory Remember By the way, my name's Trevor. Robin, I feel like I've met you before. I don't know why she's like that, Fennel. I mean... Um, I guess some people are just that way. I'm not bothered by them. Uh, if you let them get to you, that's how they win. Are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I get that from time to time. My uncle says it's a supersonic seizure, but it happens when I'm stressed. It'll go away. Actually, I totally understand because I get that thing sometimes too. One time I even blacked out. Funny thing about Fennel and the gang is that they've never been mean to me, but they've been mean to other girls. That's because you're so handsome. They probably like you. I bet they don't. Wait, you think <laughs> I'm handsome? Me? Um, can't you see? They are all wearing a mask, pretending to be someone else. So why should I even care what they think? when they're not even real to begin with. Kill them with kindness. That's what my mother always said. Uh, you think I'm handsome? Me? <laughs> they hold with a mask of many colors. One for each occasion, one for you.
Hungry? Sure, I could eat. So we've got different kinds of food in the cafeteria, and I usually like to eat different kinds of things. So the first one is actually the chicken, which is this one. Oh. And the second one is this weird thing, but I think it's a vegetable. <laughs> sure, let's try the chicken. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Look at that. I think it's okay. Oh my! What is that? Chicken. 3D printed straight from the synthesizer. It looks pretty bad, but it actually tastes really good. <laughs> yes. Maybe I'll go with vegetarian instead. Okay, I'll get it for you. Okay. Okay, there you go. Hey, you made food. Thanks, man. Oh, hey, new girl. Wait a second. Come on. How's the homework coming along, buddy? Robin. What? Her name's Robin. What? So how about the homework, buddy? I haven't started mine yet. Well, better get started on mine soon because I don't want those birds to slip. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do it. You're the man. You're gonna eat that? Nice! Guess what? You're alright, new girl. Um, Robin. Hmm? Enjoy your food. Cheers, later. Bye. You shouldn't do his homework for him. I've known Lawrence for a long time. We went to elementary school together. Yeah, he's a bit rough around the edges. So that makes it okay for him to walk all over you? Well, hey, come and look at this. Okay, you see that great blue marble? That's the Earth. All of humanity that was, is, and never will be are stuck up there. But we're still on the moon, I guess. So this is the first time we've been on the moon? What do you think of it? It is pretty lonely, I guess. Just give it some time. I mean, I was lonely there too. Different locations, different masks. But at least now I met you. Over the next few days, Robin settled into her new classes. Some of the other classmates could be quite cruel but it turned out Robin had thick skin and was not afraid to stand up for herself. Fennel didn't appreciate that, but the other students began to see her in the same way that I do. She's funny, smart, and very kind. Sometimes I wish that I would have stood up with her, given her support, but it looked like she was handling it well, or so I thought anyway. Gee, that new girl really thinks she sees she's all that? <coughs> Most treasures wears and what was that in style? Right, so retro. Retro means fashionable to me. That was never in style. Even when this was new. Fine, vintage. Who cares? Does she just gross it out and all? Uh, she's worthless. And um, what about her perfume? Classic. Vintage retro classic. Whatever else you're going to say. It all just means the same thing. So why don't you just give it a rest? Honestly, some of us are trying to study right here and we can't hear over your constant drivel. I don't mean to snap at you. It's just part of my condition. I'm working on it and being nicer. Nah, it's okay. Sometimes I just say things. Find it hard not to get too emotional. I'm trying and I have nothing left to say. Children are 
had nothing left to say. Getting stuck in the rut when you're out of luck makes you feel like an all time schmuck. No doubt about it. Everyone has to know about this. Gosh. I just feel that the cafeteria is too dangerous for me to stay. I broke a nail today in the cafeteria. Oh what are you going to do about it? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask Dr. Carmichael for help. Yeah. Dr. Robin, what are you doing here? Hi, Dr. C. 
Um, Trevor was just showing me around the school. Mm, good for you. Just stay away from the junkyard. It's now safe there. I was just about to put up this poster. It might interest you, Trump. Talent show? Yes. The next week, as a part of the Lunar Festival, it is one of the biggest night of year at SAT. Everybody goes and everybody always has a great time. It is Space Age Academy's 26th annual celebration. I was hoping you could put some of your talents to good use. Tori is a bit of a You are? Really? I tell you, he's really got quite the talent. You should hear some of the material. Thanks, Dr. C. Maybe the two of you could think of something to perform. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. See you, see you Dr. C. So, what are we going to do, Mr. Songwriter? You really want to do this? Of course! What if it sucks? Then I guess we'll just suck together. <clears throat> Plus, you know we won't. It will be awesome. We will be awesome. Together! Wow, look at her face. She really believes in me. In us. I hope I don't let her down. Okay, I have this idea I've been working on for a while. But maybe it's just kind of so-so. Let's hear it. What's this song about? Does it have to be about something? I mean, uh, it's a very beautiful song. I liked your voice, but... It's about my parents. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know. Don't be. You didn't know. Actually, I've had a great childhood growing up. My aunt and uncle have done a great job since one day they left and never came back. That's so bizarre. I guess they just moved on in their life and decided I was going to be a part of it. No, I mean, 
That's totally weird. Are you playing games with me? Cause that's what happened to me too. Last thing I remember was playing on the swing just, just after, after lunch. lunch, and they were gone without a trace. I called their names out, and nothing. My aunt and uncle told me they caught the honey virus a couple of years after I was born. It just doesn't add up. But in any case, they're gone. A distant memory. It's normal that we want some sort of answers, Trevor. I want closure too. songwriter Trevor. Thank you. I mean it. You could be a professional. Have you considered that? There's no money in it. My uncle says I should focus on something like business and focus on music when I'm settled. But what you have is real. 
It's a gift that few others possess. I can't go against the family. They're all I have. What about you? What do you want to do when you grow up? Um... Virtual reality therapist. Why? I don't know. You put me under pressure. I just picked something that sounded cool to me. Plus, I have the freedom to choose whatever I want to do in the future. You're lucky. You know, Trevor, I have something that I need to tell you. Something you need to know. Oh, well, if it isn't Granny, or should I say Little Miss Robot. What are you guys talking about? Ah, oh, Trev, turns out your perfect little girlfriend is a freak after all. She's... We figured out. Yeah, turns out she's a cyborg. It is the reason why I've been learning about this stuff in science class. Dr. Kamiko must have known. We found a picture of your sweet, instant girlfriend here in the textbook of History of Robotics in the library, listed as the first AM program to have female tendencies. Explain that. I... Deniably her. I... So we can deny it. That's what it means. It even has the same stupid dress. Oh, it explains everything. Now we know why your eyes are so weird. You're... And why you move the way you do. You're wrong. Then what are you? It explains everything. It explains why you look like a snapshot of fashion decades ago. It explains your skin, your voice, your demeanor, and why you're just awful. Can't you see that nobody likes you? We do not accept you and your kind here. Robots take jobs from otherwise capable workers. My father is employed because of freaks like you. And now you came to take your scholarship money with your computer brain? <sighs> that makes you a cheater, and it puts you at unfair advantage. You're not even just a robot, but an old arcane monstrosity with an obsolete computer brain, I bet. You're one step above to play chess. And how sad. On the other hand, we can't really blame you for being such a lousy wretch. See, we all knew you were a freak the moment we laid eyes on you. But now we know. It's not even your fault you're a loser. You're programmed that way. Robin the robot, Robin the robot. Enough. Granny Bob found herself a little boy toy? What's that? Can't find your own battles? You need a bigger battery? You guys are out of your mind. If she was a robot, wouldn't she know it? Who cares? I'm willing to bet she already knows. Don't you, honey? Yeah. You're nuts, all of you. Well, let's hear from her then. Tell them, Robin. Tell them they're nuts. Uh, nuts and boast more like it. Spell things, Tin Can! can. Not quite yet, but do you think so? Take time for us to understand. Oh, 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 you know, can be a wonderful place if you take the chance to notice. It might take some time. We've got ways to go. There's a little place you have a heartbeat. Unless it's made of steel. Titanium 
here. Are you what? happy now? Is this what you wanted? Freak of nature. Freak of nature? So this is it? This is what proves she's a robot? Android, actually. What you're listening today, that means she's cyber. It means she's a freak. Don't listen to them, Trevor. Bad, you won't live. But then again, who does? Unbelievable. You really have no heart, do you? No, you do. Did you just see? We just watch hers go down the garbage chute. Mine's still beating in my chest like a normal person. Cheer up, big boy. If that's what we're into, I'm sure that coffee machine is single. Remember to put it on the protection setting. Or else you're gonna get burned. Oh, you try, what's happening? We hear the new girl is a robot, Trev. Is it true? Then I guess. I am too. Wait, is, is that a heart? Oh and Bernice told me it was a bird mark since I was born and many other people had similar marks. The way you treated her, like she was some monster. She didn't deserve this. She didn't deserve this. Are you guys going to help or not? Let's, Let's do it. it.
Who goes there? My name is Trevor. I know you and your family. We don't see many of your kind here. What brings you here, child? This place is mighty dangerous. Dangerously unstable. It's not wise for you to be here. I'm looking for something that might be done. Everything comes along this way. Did you toss something and come to regret it? Yes, a friend. I see. Well, I hope it's not too late for you to get him back. I'm looking for a heart that is made of glass. A heart of glass? It wouldn't be anything like this, would it? That's it. Hmm? Who said you could have it? Please, sir. Sir? Please, ma'am. Ma'am? Please. Groundskeeper. My friends depend on it. Seems like they're already gone. And at least they are appreciated without fear that someone could come along and cast them. Oh, okay. Really? Really? You really gonna give up this? Easily? What do you want from me? What do you have to give? I'm just a boy. I have nothing to give. That's where you're wrong. You have everything to give. You have your whole life ahead of you. You want my life? Mm. I will only give this back to you for one reason. You never give up on your dream. No matter how hard it seems, no matter how many Obstacles going through on your path. You must swear that you will never give up. I swear it. I swear it. Good. Because that's what makes you human, despite what they might tell you before. Um, groundskeeper? Hmm? How is it that I'm able to be out here and breathe without air? It's me. Am I a robot? I'm not programmed to answer these questions, but no, you wouldn't be robots. Jeez, didn't the doctor told you anything? Um, am I an android? I'm not programmed to answer these questions. Um, am I a cyborg? I'm not programmed to... Alright, here's the question. Remember what you said before. Say it. I swear I'll never give up on my dreams. Good. Forget about what other people might say about your identity. It's not about what uh, the color of your skin or your body is made of copper alloy. It's about what you do in your life. And I think you've got plenty of time. Here's your word. Remember, don't forget. I won't. What? I am alive. You got it. Okay. Now can we leave this place? I think I need a shower of that. I don't think we'd be stuck in the junkyard all day. No. You see that giant crack? That wasn't there before. It's broken. You sure? Yeah. Okay, let me try something. Yeah. Totally broken. Of course it's broken. Sorry about it. Looks like there's nothing we can do. Well. I guess that's strike two for you then, eh? Wait, 
there might be something. Okay, but tomorrow's turn. We found it! What? The heart! Her heart! This belongs to Robin. Aw, so pathetic. Now that we found the magical heart, she will be in love with me forever. And they're gonna live happily ever after. Girl, what? what are you talking about? Please, Dr. Carmichael. It's her only hope. I don't know. This looks pretty bad. I will give it my best. It worked. Robin, are you okay? Mrs. C, how do you know it will work? You have a pretty deep cut, my dear. But you are a lucky girl. There are so many people care about you. Of course I know how to fix my creation, Trevor. As any creature should. I built you once and I can build you again. You created me? You created us? This is impossible. What about my parents? Implanted memories? I'm afraid. My uncle? My aunt? They are both cyborgs. So you've been lying to us all this time. No, no, no. The memories belong to someone else. Your body is made of synthetic material. But your thoughts are organic. This is too crazy. If I was a robot, wouldn't I know it? Think about it, Trevor. Is it really so crazy? <laughs> I mean, it would be crazier if we never figured it out. If we never existed or we never met. It's too hard to believe. What is it so difficult to believe? Like, you can believe in yourself on a rock traveling through the space at a thousand kilometers an hour, but that's who we are. You can believe in yourself. Why is it so hard to accept? Reality is what you make of it.
So I'm not real. I'm not me. Of course you are you. You are sitting in front of me. Well, it depends on what you consider to be real. Is your dream real? If fear is real, if love is real, then of course you are real. Wait, are you telling me that we are brothers and sisters? There's no need to get hung up on specifics. Yes, I made you. Made about a million other beings. Organically, synthetically. What does it matter? You exist. You think. Therefore, you are. So, if we are the prototypes, how many times have you reset us? I don't know, Doctor Carmichael. For both of you, at this point, it's over nine thousand. But I will never give up on you. For all the times you have reset us, how many times do you have to give this kind of conversation with us? I will be honest. They wanted to decommission you. They said your model is simple, too old, and too many bugs. But I begged them to give you one more chance. And this time, Trevor, I talked to you about music. I programmed you with love of art. And you know what? Even with your first few moments of singularity, I knew you were different. You gravitated to it, and they were able to create masterpieces. That is why you are real. You just still have enough time to attend the talent show. What do you say, Robin? Yeah, let's do it. <coughs> Maybe all the humans really are on that small blue marble. Hello all, and welcome back to Space Age Institute of Technology 26th Annual Talent Show. We hope you've been enjoying tonight's performances. Our final acts are coming up, and next we have Fennel and the Game performing their popular hit song, Fashion Police. And then we'll hear a duet from Robin and Trevor performing the song they wrote. And after that, the judges will tally the votes and make their final decision for contestants. Please remember, we are all winners here tonight. But seriously, if you're here, it means you survived the great honey plague that took out many of our loved ones. The universe shines brightly on you, my friends. Please enjoy every minute of it. Now, without any further ado, please welcome Fenno and the gang.
Gathered associates, esteemed guests, my dear friends, I believe we have a clear winner here today, or should I say winners, Robin and Trevor. I really enjoyed your song. Save it, Tin Can. You two want fair and square. Maybe next time we have to practice a little harder to beat you. Don't start slouching, or I will get you. Mark my words. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. whoa. Hey, 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 hello, you made it! I love you, bro. I made it. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, congratulations, you girl. Yeah. Woo. Oh. Gather around, my children. I'm very proud of you all tonight. There are a few things I feel you should know. Yes, it's true. I have programmed all of you. I have programmed you to be as human as possible. But you are, in fact, cybers. All of you, this means, for better or worse, you have emotions. As your creator, I empathize. I feel your joy, your triumphs. Your laughter, oh, come on. but I also feel your pain, your heartbreak, your inner turmoil. It is absolutely understandable that some days will be worse than others. It is no more for you to be happy, sad, confused, betrayed, inadequate, jealous, even spiteful sometimes. This is okay. In fact, it's what makes you special. It is not okay to hurt other people or make them feel small. How you handle situations defines your character. I want you all to know this because some days it will be difficult for you to remember. It is okay to not be okay, but we have to give it our best each day. I need you to persevere day by day, never give up, just like the sun says. Do it for me, but more.